hand tight only. It's starting to look like a motorcycle. Quite easy really. You see how to do it? I took it off. Just reassemble. Disassemble. Don't forget about the little one in here. Line it up. Not bad. Just going to put a bolt in. And last but by no means least, this little bugger in here. Finger tight. Quarter of a turn. One chain guard on. Right, just in the middle of doing the exhaust or the end can, um, using brake clean, partly because I absolutely love the stuff, and it evaporates, and when you start your bike, it won't go all blue. Furniture polish, nope. WD-40, nope. Just brake clean, you need something that evaporates. Once it evaporates, you start your bike up, it will stay the same colour for a while. Fortunately, these end cans are uh, they're not too bad. And they're covered in uh, absolutely... This one's blasted. Hey-ho. Full of uh, road crap. But take your time, get it off, get them all look like new. That must have took what five, seven seconds, and that that is back up to well, you can see me handing it. That is back up to original, nice, beautiful shine, and that took seconds. So once you've done all your downpipes, your full exhaust system, you've done the sandpaper, the polishing, the metal polishing, the wiping, you've done all the hard stuff to keep it nice after a month or so, tiny little bit of metal polish, give it a rub, that's it, done. Right, well that's the connector pipe finished. That took me about, oh I don't know, two minutes. To completely do that it was all brown stained and the staining will it will get your pipes do not do not do this with what I've done to the exhaust this use that that all that nothing else you can use a bit of brake clean to clean all the crap off it that's the only thing you should use on your end cans. Don't use anything more abrasive than that because you'll scratch the buggers up. Right, to get this exhaust on, it's literally the exact reverse of taking it off. Notice the shit loads of copper slip on that, they do seize badly. Because of all the water that comes up here, straight on there, they start seizing. So I like to put OTT copper slip on them. Now, let's get this exhaust on. Goes on like that, obviously. 
you just literally slip it on. Don't force it on. It slips on. Twist it slowly till it lines up. Now it's not doing much, it's not holding a lot of weight. There is a bit of vibration from it. So, torques wise, just think about it. Right, finger tight. I reckon about a quarter of a turn myself. See how it goes. Yep, there you are. That's the exhaust done. Here's the mud guard, or mud guard, here's the bloody chain guard. It's just, uh, just black plastic. It's not shiny, it's not doing anything for me. But, this stuff, holy moly. Come across this a few years back. It's like a gel. And, uh, you just get your finger, and we're just going to do a bit, and you just rub it in. Now I've got too much on my finger here, you only need a tiny bit. But that's all you do is just you rub it in. And this works for any black plastic. I. I can't tell you how much I use this stuff. It's supposed to be for um, bumpers. Well, obviously bumpers are black and they're made of plastic. So, that's all I've done. I've just put that bit on. I usually wait about 10 minutes to let it soak in, but I'm not going to do that for you. And that's it, you just lightly wipe it off. I absolutely love it. It turns dull, shitty grey plastic into lustrous, superb, deep shine. And you can see it a mile off, the difference it makes. So right there, right there's one, on the frame is two, this slides in, don't force any of this because you'll crack it, put it in very gently like it was fresh paint. Still not going in. So what's wrong? There you go. That's it. Didn't force it. A little bit of pressure, that's all you need. Just put the fasteners in. Just a little bit. You know, so I'm having a wiggle because it needs to find the thread and I don't want to cross thread it. So I've wiggled it, it's found the thread, it's happy. These are pure finger tight, nothing else, just your fingers. Next hole. Oh. This 
one goes into the frame. And I'm wiggling and it's not working. Nope. So I have something wrong. There you go, it's in. Very, very easy. Just plastics. But remember, they're painted. Once again, finger tight only. Have a look around the panel. Yep. That's absolutely fine. Right, the Fawkes tank, this is a bit more complicated but the same principles apply. Because I've put all the bolts back in, I haven't lost one, apart from that bloody thing down there. Right, so, hold it up to the bike, have a look where they should go. I have a hole here, I have a bolt here, that obviously marries there. This. Marries there, obviously, and the front marries as well. Quite nice. So take your bolt out that you will be fastening it on to. There's one there. There's one underneath. But that's just a hole, so that means it's on the bike. And hold it up again. Where's the other one? There it is. It's at the front. So once again, be gentle, don't be a gorilla. Hold it up. See where it wants to go. Right, this slides in there. This goes in under there. Yep, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to hold it for now. Just going to get one bolt in because I don't want to drop this plastic. You drop this, you might need repainting. So there's one in. I can let go. Easy peasy. So now, look where I want to be. I've got the bolt here. Notice how my gloves are clean. No more oily. We're in the cleaning process now. So marry this up. Wiggle it again until it finds its home and it's not cross threaded. Now don't do this up all the way. Pointless. When you're putting stuff on, leave it all loose. I mean that's tight, it's finger tight. Back it off a lot. Plenty of wiggle room. We've got a bolt underneath. Once again, try and line it up.
just a couple of turns in just to hold the bolt where it is and we've got one there but I'm pretty sure the top cover goes on with this one so I'm going to do the rest of the bolts up once again when you're doing the bolts up finger tight literally finger tight you don't need to be on any more than that don't be a gorilla ready that's as tight as they need to be that's it that's as tight as they need to be right the middle can't do the middle yet because I have to do the other side of the bike so let's go around there right to the other side of the bike one bolt in the frame it's exactly the same procedure as the other side one have a look round it where is it going to be there so it's there which is obviously on the other panel the bolt off the other panel slide that in there again come on slide it's not in the right place Lines up nice. That all fits lovely. Once again, a touch. held in place and don't forget every time you put a bit of copper slip on these threads you know you're going to get them out again in years and years and years we sat there for 20 years the chances are you'll get these out again that one's not nice it feels wrong all over it better this one feels wrong so I'm going to wiggle everything there you go no cross threaded once again finger tight and this one pinched once again finger tight that's all they need right gonna put the grab rail on just gonna check it for uh, ring you know rings on your finger and scratches now nah, it's fine just a case of four bolts one two three four simple as Larry Larry is a very simple man one two three 
three. Four. Offer it up. That don't look right. If we try it the right way around. These have little rubber, for want of a better word, gaskets or inserts or basically.